Okay, structs. All right, so we're going to do a struct today, all right? So let's go ahead and put const std equals, um, I wonder if I can, you know what, I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, right, and then std, all right, terminate. All right, so here's where we make our, um, we make we make our class. What we're going to do is we're going to make a, a struct, not class, a struct person. Okay, so let's go person, let's say const, person equals struct, and then bam, so we're going to put name, which is going to be a u8, and then we're going to put in age, which is going to be a... All right, we're gonna also make that, we're just gonna make that a U8 though, okay? Now, this is gonna be an array right here, right? So, okay, so I think I'm gonna put a semicolon on here. And let's go with pub function. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna, um, we're gonna do like a two string method. If you know Java, two string is like the convert uh, any object into a string or you know basically format the string so we'll put uh, let's call it let's call it str we'll do it like Russ does it or whatever right and then we'll put okay no 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 we'll put a u8 u8 Okay, we'll also put in self in here. This will be equal to a person. Okay. And what we got to do, in order to format a string, we're going to use an object, but, but buff. All right, so we're going to go over here and we're going to use uh, ziglearn. <clears throat> you know, so I can show you this buff print thing. Which one's it in? Okay, formatting specifics. Okay, so. What you can see in here is you have a you, you create a buffer here that's undefined, just a placeholder or whatever, right? And then you use that you use that to store in memory. You know this this takes in uh we'll get into pointers later, but this takes a reference right here, right? And let me see where's the one with the string. That's ASCII format. Okay, here's the one with the string right here, right? <clears throat> so, you're going to take the, the constant U8, and uh, it's going to print that out, or it's going to it's gonna return that, okay? And this S right here goes for a, a string, right? But, you know, so, uh, you know, let me start over. Okay, so this goes, <clears throat> so B is going to be the buffer, which is going to be an array of U8, which carries six values, right? And then we're gonna create our, you know, our statement hello, and then, um, you know, buff print or return. Uh, it'll return whatever you format in here, and the variables go here. So let me just let me just demonstrate this. Okay, so we're gonna use the std dot format dot buff print. Okay, and we'll create our what was it? Uh, let's say constant uh, B is going to be a U slice of U8. Put UB, U8. And it's going to equal undefined, okay? That's how you initialize variables in here, right? And then we're going to put the, um, <clears throat> we're going to put the reference in here of B. And what we'll do for this one right here is we'll put in two things, right? Or return from two variables. We're going to put um, name. It might be self.name. Let me find out. And then age, okay? I think it's self, yeah. Let's say self.name. Self.name and then self.age. Alright, 
terminate that. And then we're going to return this right here. And this will return this formatted string like that, right? You know, also we'll put we'll put in an init method. All right, we're going to just put in an init function. Rust seems to like new. Um, <clears throat> Zig seems to like init. So basically what we're going to do initialize function. It's going to take n, which is a u8, or a slice of u8, a, which is a u8. And it's going to make n the name. It's going to make this object right here, right? So that's how we're going to initialize it. All right, ran into a couple technical difficulties. All right, I had to make the constant u8 up here okay uh, in order for this to go in right and you put the identifier this is for string and for decimal and I put 16 in here I think I can put just nothing in there as well too let me see no it doesn't you know what I might be able to put an underscore in there too that doesn't give you Inferred array invalid here. All right. Well, for now, I'm just going to put 16 in there. All right. And it puts out, you know, we take the init method, which returns a person with the name from N and then uh, the age from A. Okay. And then we put this, use this string, uh, two string, you know, that's how they do it in Rust, right? And we put you know we initialize this with the name of Bob and the age of 35 and then P uh, string we're calling this method which will do like a two string and print out the name and uh, age in this format I can put it you know just to show you guys I'll put it like that so you can see it prints out exactly what we got here I think I can put a slash n on there too to go to the next line let's see what we got here you're experimenting on the camera yep so you can see you can basically see down here how it did it all right that's it all right in the last one we did like a two string method and now what we're gonna do here is okay all right you can see this person class and this is on zigling or you know zig learn uh, you know under formatting you know for formatting right you know, uh, it's under this tab right here all right okay so what you got to do here is what we want to do is we want debug print just by passing the object or passing the object uh, to print out a formatted string. So what you do is you put in this method, basically kind of like a magic method or a method that debug print is going to look for um, format right here, right? We the same shit in Rust or the same thing in Rust or whatever, right? Okay, so what you're gonna do? Is you're gonna put this comp time we'll get into this right here just for now just you know comp time format this is uh you do this with generics and stuff like that right all right and you got the options here this has to be in there and then the writer of any type right and what this will do is uh when you put the bug print it'll look for all these things and then you can take the writer and print out what you need you want to print here or, or um format the string how you want it formatted here right it's got to return void as well so let's go let's get into it right so so we're gonna go in here pub fn format okay person oh no self person you know what it's the same kind of class let's just, let's just start with this right here right all right, so we'll take this format signature right here, right, bam. So I have to type all this out again. Work smarter, not harder, guys. All right, and let's put this all on one line. I don't like this like this, right? All right, and this has got to return a void. It's just going to take this method and, you know, it's going to do what it's got to do with it down here, right? All right. And so we're going to take the, we're going to try writer, which is the writer right up here. Writer. 
that I print. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, S and we'll put a D for a digit, okay? And we'll put format so you know where it's coming from. Okay, and then we'll put in that dot. I'll always remember that. That kind of was weird to me, and I, you know, I messed up a couple times with that. Name, and then self. Dot age. Okay. All right. Put a semicolon on there, and you you do not return this. You do not return this. I. Um, it takes this function and fills out everything it needs to, and it it will do this right here. Right. Okay. So. We're gonna print out. We're gonna debug print out a string. You know, before we did the the dot stir meth, method, kind of like Rust, but now we're gonna just print it out regular like this. Okay, demo gods. Let's see what we got going on. Zig run structs uh, struct video. Okay, it didn't blow up at me. So you can see it put out print out Bob thirty five, and we're just passing the object. So I called this. You know, the debug print called this uh, called this function right here right you see the format on